One of the most important plugins in the mixing process is an EQ. An EQ helps us manipulate the frequency spectrum of sound, could be vocals or any other instrument that you're dealing with. It is also responsible for shaping the tone of that particular instrument. A lot of beginners struggle because they don't know exactly where to touch, what not to touch, what to boost, what not to boost. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new plugin, the Caves AQ. This is one of the first autonomous EQ plugins, which is basically just designed to listen to your vocal and be able to automatically EQ it without your intervention. But then again, if you want to, you can actually go in there and adjust a few things. All right, so if you take a look at my vocal chain here, I don't have any EQ in here apart from this right here. So this is the first and the only EQ plugin in my vocal chain. So the first thing that you have to do is simply click the lane button here, play your audio, it will go through. Once it's done, it will give you about five caves. We can choose from there. So let's just go straight into it. Panama, Panama, my baby, is a touching for the sweet cabanosa. Panama, Panama, my baby, is a touching for the sweet cabanosa. Panama, Panama, my all right so this right here is what i get and these are the caves right here and it identifies my vocal as male vocal right here you can actually come to vocal and choose if it's male or female but it has identified this as a male vocal which is okay and then what i'm going to do is listen to which one sounds great for me Panama, Panama, my baby, is a touching for the sweet cabanosa. Panama, Panama, my baby, is a touching for the sweet cabanosa. Panama, Panama, my baby. So if I find a cave that I like, I can basically just click here. You can see the dynamic and static here. This is basically just a balance between how dynamic I want this to be. If I want it to be static, I can just do that. Panama, Panama, my baby, is a touching for the sweet cabanosa. The blue one here, these are the cuts and these are the boosts. So this is where you adjust them. If you feel like the boost is just too much for you, you can adjust using that, the cuts using this. This just adjusts the entire cave, you know. So when I do this, it pushes them more and just like that. So you actually have a lot of other functions. You can go to advanced uh, where you can increase the precision. You can see that they become smaller and a little bit more precise when it comes to attacking stuff. But you would want your EQ to be a little bit broad, you know, and a bit dynamic. For these individual frequency bands, you can actually boost or deal with the cuts like that reduce them a little bit and then when you come here you got something like the fundamental where the body of the instrument is you've got the low the harmonics here Panama, Panama, my baby, is my Mona Lisa, I'm a be by your side to take and Thanks a lot for watching and thanks a lot for listening to my work song. I'll leave the links in the description. You guys can go and check out this plugin right here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. Click that post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at JDMG on Facebook at JDMGenius. Let's interact there. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.